Hey there, I'm Douglas from DraftBits, and today we'll dive into the YouTube Player component. This component is a powerful tool that allows you to embed and play YouTube videos directly within your app. Whether you're showcasing a playlist, a tutorial, or a single video, the YouTube Player makes it seamless to integrate YouTube's content inside your application. In this video, we'll explore how to set up the component, configure its properties, and style it to match your application's look and feel. We'll also cover advanced options like autoplay, working with video IDs, and even using playlists. To get started, let's add the YouTube player component to the screen. In DraftBit, head over to the components tab on the left side, click add, then in the search, we're going to search for YouTube. And the YouTube player, we click, and it gets added to the screen. Now that the component is on the screen, let's dive into the properties, starting with the data tab. So if we click the YouTube player, we we'll see here we have some styles. Uh, we can manipulate the width. So as you can see right now, it's not really looking nice. It's kind of like in the corner on the left. So what I can do here is I can say I want it to cover 100% of the width. So here I'll put it on percentage and you will notice it covers 100% of the width. Let's go over to the data tab. And the first thing that we see on the data tab is the video ID. If you're embedding a single YouTube video, simply copy the video ID from the URL and then we add it here and we're able to see that video. So as you can see, I'm on YouTube. I have this how to use the scroll view video open. It's on mute, so we're not going to hear anything. And what I want to do is I want to get the video ID. And where do I get that? So in the URL where it says V equals, this is the video ID. And I can just copy this, come back to my application in video ID, I can paste this and as you can see we now have this video how to use the scroll view you can even play it hey i'm douglas from DraftBit. in this tutorial okay perfect up next we have the playlist so if you want to showcase a series of videos you can use the playlist id instead this will allow us to be able to play the playlist in the youtube player so if we go back to the video We'll notice that this is in a, in a DraftBit uh, playlist code components. And the ID of that playlist is here where it says list equals. We grab that entire ID, copy that ID, go back to DraftBit where it says playlist. We paste that ID in. And now notice that our player now has this playlist component. We click that and we can go through all the videos. We can now click and be able to play the next hey, video. Hey, I'm, I'm Douglas, Douglas from DraftBit. Right? Today's, Today's video. That's all it takes to connect to your YouTube content. Next, let's move to the configurations. So next up here, we have configurations. And the first thing that we see is the component name. So this is an optional field where you can give uh, the component a description name. For example, if you're using the player for a tutorial, you could name it a tutorial video player. And this allows us to name it inside the component tree. And you can imagine a situation where we have lots of uh, YouTube players. We'll be able to track which one we are currently working on. Then up next, we have the autoplay. Enable this toggle if you want the video to start playing automatically as soon as the screen loads. So if this is enabled, as soon as the screen loads. Hey, I'm, I'm Douglas from DraftBit. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the, the video starts playing. Then finally, let's take a look at the styles. So if we come here, we have the styles. The most important style property for the YouTube player is its size. You can adjust the width and height to fit the player within your app layout. For example, what we did when the player first loaded, it was taking about half the width and we made it take 100% of the width. We can change that. We can come here, we can say we want to take 80% of the width. We can also play around with height. Right now it's 250 points. I can come in here and I can say 450 points. 50 points and now our video now has more height again let me put it back on 100 and yeah that's how you use the youtube player component draft bit to recap we covered how to add the component to the screen configure the video id the playlist id customizing the behavior with configuration properties like autoplay styling the component to suit your design and with these tools you can easily integrate uh, engaging video content into your app whether it's tutorial promotional content or playlists Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more DraftBit tutorials. See you in the next video.